Now that our failover group is configured, let's test it out. On Pi SRV01, bring up the display from the exercise where you made the trend of the MQTT data. We will want to watch this trend as we test failover to prove to ourselves that it is working. Our test will consist of stopping the Pi SRV02 adapter instance and then watching it fail over to the Pi SRV01 instance, which will become primary. Once complete, we will restart the Pi SRV02 instance to have it assume the secondary role. Access Pi SRV02, and in the lower half of the PowerShell IDE, run the following command edge cmd stop dash cid mqtt1 dash port 6010. You should see an operation has been completed successfully message. Now that the Pi SRV02 adapter is stopped, it will take a minute or two for the failover to happen. Let's watch the Aviva Pi Vision trend with the MQTT data on it. Access the Pi SRV01 VM and open your display with the MQTT trend on it. You should notice the data flatlining until the failover occurs, and the Pi SRV01 adapter takes over as the primary. Once you see the data, let's confirm that the Pi SRV01 has taken over the primary role. On Pi SRV01, in the lower half of the PowerShell IDE, run the following command edge cmd get failover state dash port 6010. We should see that this adapter now has the primary role. Now we can restart the Pi SRV02 adapter and confirm it assumes the secondary role. Access Pi SRV02 and in the lower half of the PowerShell IDE, run the following command edge cmd start dash cid mqtt1 dash port 6010. You should see an operation has been completed successfully message. Then once started in the lower half of the PowerShell IDE, run the following command. Edge CMD get failover state dash port 6010. You should see that the Pi SRV02 adapter has now taken up the secondary role. This confirms that our failover is working as intended.